All right, Leo. So your first card, we got Sacred Lust. This is the naked woman, so I'm going to move it up here. We got Sacred Lust. We got Wounded Healer. And then we got Miracles Reversed. So bottom of the deck, we got Shame. Hmm. So, but it's reversed. So somebody may not feel bad about something that they have done to you, Leo. Or this could be you. Somebody just don't feel bad about something. This is somebody that you may have like a um a passionate connection with, Leo. Um, and I feel like this person. Okay, somebody that you have a passionate connection with. I feel like you. This person hurt you at one point in time. They really did, Leo. This person hurt you at one point in time. But I feel like you eventually got over it. That's the energy that I'm picking up with sacred lust and wounded healer. Your person, like you see, like you have got over this person, Leo. Because you already some of you, some of you guys, you this person may have never hurt you. Maybe it was um like I said, maybe it was just more of a, a, a lustful thing, a sexual, a passionate thing with you guys. You know, but I just feel like somebody left somebody that was a, that was supposed to be a blessing in their life with this miracles card right here reversed. I, I really feel that way, you know. Even though this was like a um only a lustful thing between y'all, some of y'all may have developed these feelings before, which you know where you may have been in a soul tie with this person. And you had to heal from this situation and move on. But for the most part, you may not feel, I don't know why, I'm just getting this, like, somebody don't feel bad about what they did. Maybe this could be you not feeling bad about walking away from this person after you heal. Or it could just be them not feeling bad. I feel like it's the, the toxic person. Whoever this is that may have hurt you in a recent past, Leo, they don't feel bad about hurting you. They did not feel bad about hurting you because they only looked at it as a, as a, um, as a sex-based thing, anyways. But I feel like a lot of my Leos may not even care anymore because they missed out on someone that was good, anyways. They skipped their blessing. That's exactly what they're saying. Somebody could be 26 years old. Somebody could be 62. Somebody could be 15. Um, like have a 15-year-old or 51. I'm also seeing 42 and 24. Of course, this won't resonate with everybody, but it is saying that your person don't feel bad about, you know, hurting you. But for the most part, a lot of my Leos may not even care no more. Like, literally, y'all may not care at all, you know, because you bounce back from this situation. If anything, they skipped out on something good. You see what I'm saying? But... Some of y'all could be dealing with somebody new anyways, after the fact that you have left this person, Leo. Some of y'all definitely could be dealing with somebody new. What else do we have? I am seeing that somebody hooked up with somebody that was all about this the sex, and then the other person was like an empath. Two people, two different people. But, um... That's what I'm seeing. I really do feel that way. But you have bounced back. Some of my Leos have bounced back from that soul tie that they was in with somebody else. And you could be talking to somebody new or it could just be you, you know, just sitting in your um your, your own energy, just chilling after the fact that you have bounced back. Because you know this person missed out on someone great. Didn't I say that? Y'all have completely got over that person, Leo, with the eight of swords. Y'all not stuck on this person. You're not. Y'all was dealing with somebody who had that um that seductive energy about them. Like this person was like purposely creating these soul ties with maybe with multiple people, but this person purposely created a soul tie with you through sex, Leo. It was more of a sexual soul tie. But like I said, you broke free from that um lustful situation with this person. And some of you guys may have changed to the point where you are a wounded healer now. You know, maybe you have hit, like I said, you've healed from this person, Leo. But um, we got the Empress right here. So some of you guys, I just felt like you could be down, downing yourself. You know, maybe this person knocked your confidence down. Maybe you have low self-esteem. Like I'm just seeing all this energy where 
you could be feeling like you lost yourself a little bit. Like, and I'm not saying like emotionally, because for the most part, a lot of y'all may have bounced back from this person, but it's just like maybe your physical appearance, maybe your appearance, maybe you could be feeling like you need to get your confidence back up, you know, get dressed again, do your hair, do your nails, do your makeup. If you're a man, get you a haircut or get your hair twisted or braided up or something. It's like that could be the thing that's lacking right now in your life that's stopping you from getting these blessings that's coming in, Leo, because you already let go of the person. You already broke free from these lustful desires that you once had because maybe you was about that life before, Leo, where you was out here in these streets, you know, messing around with whoever it is that you, you know, want to mess around with. But once you stop doing that, you have healed and became whole. But the only thing that's lacking is your confidence in your appearance. You see what I'm saying? And that's probably why some of y'all blessings could be a bit, you know, delayed is because. You need to be confident in yourself, Leo, because you went through something that was meant to break you, but it did not. It did not break you, Leo. You still have a chance, but this can be upright, Leo, if you just, you know, take care of yourself, spirit is saying. Some of y'all need to take care of yourself a little bit, your physical health. That's exactly what I'm getting because some of y'all blessings could be delayed. You know, they ain't never gone. You know, they could just be blocked a little bit because certain things in our lives that just, you know, that stop things. But it's because y'all need to, you know, let go. Some of y'all could be tempted to go back to your old self. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Some of y'all are definitely tempted to go back to your old self after breaking free from this soul, this sex soul tie that you may have been in. I'm also hearing that maybe this person may, if you a man watching this, whether you a man or a woman, some of y'all's person may have put you in jail at one point in time. And then when you got out, Leo, you just, you know, you wasn't feeling like yourself again. You was tempted to go back to your old, like I said, sexual desires. Because I am getting that energy where some of y'all may have got out of jail and um was tempted to go back to your H-O-E and ways. You see what I'm saying? Where you just didn't care. You was just out here in these streets. But Spirit is saying don't ignore your intuition. Because we got the High Priestess card right here. Some of y'all could be ignored. It's like a personal reading for, for a lot of my Leos. Some of y'all definitely ignore your intuition on making this change. Maybe you going to prison, Leo, or rehab was your only way to stop you from you know, having that, you know, sexual urges that you used to have. Um, I wouldn't say urges. I would say stopping you from being out here in these streets, messing around with multiple people, put it like that, because of that. But it's like once you got out of jail, Leo, or once you broke free out of rehab or got over somebody, you could be tempted to go back to your old ways, Leo, because you still could be upset about the way somebody hurt you because we got shame right here reversed. Please don't be tempted to go back to your old self. Because some of y'all are where y'all not listening to yourself. Y'all not listening to your intuition or anything. I feel like you could be after you have um, bounced back and healed from a situation. You know what I'm saying? It's like now you're out here on these streets again and you're not taking care of yourself. What else do we have? That's exactly what I'm seeing. Some of y'all popping back out in these streets again. That's exactly what I'm seeing. And you blocking your blessings doing that. Some of y'all definitely blocking your blessings being out here in these streets. I'm telling you, don't do it. It ain't work. It ain't worth it. It's time to let go. It's time to make a sacrifice. It's, you gotta let go of that old way of being and thinking. time to switch it up spirit is saying because what you're doing is you're 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 destroying yourself you're destroying your life you know some of y'all could be experiencing this now where things are falling apart because you you went back to your old ways you was clean for a minute because some of y'all may have been in rehab or you may have been in jail and then as soon as you got out of that out, out of that facility it's like bang you back to your old ways again you see what i'm saying leo and y'all could be being hard-headed where you know, y'all don't want to change. 
So spirit is saying that y'all need to let go of the old you because it's breaking you. It's breaking you down. It's messing up your life. I don't know why I got personal with y'all, but this is exactly how the messages came out. I'm going to read it like that. You know, it's time to move forward. It's time to make a decision, Spirit is saying. It takes one decision in order to let go of the old you. One decision, one move. So some of you guys will eventually let it go. Some of you guys will eventually let go. And you will be happy that you let go. But y'all be careful because some of y'all could be tempted to go back. I'm telling you, like, some of y'all just could be battling with yourself right now. Whether you should go back to your old self or whether you should be on something totally new. You see what I'm saying? Because some of y'all still could be mad about an ending of a relationship. Maybe the person that put you in jail or the person that you let, you know, that you was in a sex, you know, the soul power with before you became free or whatever. Um, maybe this person, maybe you lost everything because of this person where you had nothing. You know what I'm saying? But that's the energy where I'm seeing where some of y'all could be upset about this person that messed up your life. Some of y'all could be. But Spirit is saying don't block your blessings because you're mad. It's time to make a change. It's time one thought. I keep hearing one thought. One move will change your whole life, Leo. It's time to isolate yourself. This is required. Y'all need to isolate yourself. Some of y'all could be dealing with a water sign. I'm seeing a lot of water. I'm seeing Pisces, Scorpio, Scorpio, and Virgo. I'm seeing Taurus, Libra. Water and Earth. But it's time for y'all to make a decision, Leo, and isolate yourself from this person. Because if you go back to that ex, if you go back, reach out to somebody old, they're going to end up leaving you anyways. That's exactly what it's saying. Y'all only doing this out of boredom. We got the Four of Cups. Some of y'all are. Y'all are doing this out of boredom. But it's um, Spirit saying, listen, when is you tired of being sick and tired? Because some of y'all are tired. Y'all tired of having your life being destroyed and, you know what I'm saying, you not getting nowhere. It's like your life could be going in a circle. That's exactly what I'm hearing for somebody. But I am getting this energy where y'all are purposely, like spirit is purposely breaking your life down again. It's going to continue to fall until you make that change, like I said. Because if not, you're going to be stuck in your old, in your old ways, you know. And it's because y'all still holding on to a past love that may have made your life this way, Leo. But there's other three cups on the side, Leo. And there's another cup right here. So Spirit is saying that you are being gifted another opportunity, Leo. And y'all going to get somewhere. Y'all going to get somewhere. Whether it's a new opportunity in love or whether it's a new opportunity in work. Most of you guys, y'all need to isolate yourself and get, you know, and hold back from love for a little bit until you get your life together. Because some of y'all still, like I said, still could be hurting. You know, even though you felt like you did heal over something, you really didn't. You know what I'm saying? It's, you still got a long way to go, Leo, in order for you to get back to being your true authentic self with this Empress Reverse card. Because you're not. Y'all need to take care of yourself. Y'all need to take care of your health. You know, it's time to destroy the old you. But y'all got something coming in. Once you make a decision to do something, Leo. I'm thinking that it's supposed to be the other way around. Yeah. And that's to walk away. Once you make a decision to walk away from any and everything that's not making your life better, that's not improving your life, your life is going to change, Leo. That's exactly what the Spirit wants you to do. Make that decision to walk away from people, places, and things that don't level you up. You see what I'm saying? That don't make you better. That's exactly what it's saying. Because this is what Spirit wants you to do. They want you to have that healing. This is exactly what it's saying. Y'all need to heal. In order for you to get this 
stability, this balance, you need to be patient with yourself and allow yourself to heal because you will get what it is that you want and you will get the support that you are looking for, whether that's some money, whether that's the job. I'm seeing some, some, some form of support coming in for my Leos, Leo. But you have to go through the dark night of the soul. That's exactly what Spirit is saying, that you will have to go through this, you know, in order to you know, for things to get better. Yes, things will fall apart. Don't get it twisted. Things will fall apart. You will be down on your luck for a little bit. But I'm telling you, this one decision right here is going to change your life. But you you, you got to heal. A lot of y'all need to heal. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, Leo. Y'all take care.